welcome back. My name is Emil and today we're going to talk about something it's called the one wire mod or the cascading gain mod. Um, it's something you do to amps like these. This is the Super Lead reissue, the 1959 Super Lead. Um, the reason why you want to do this mod is these amps don't come with a ton of gain stock. Uh, you see the the preamp in amps like this, the Plexi or yeah similar, is fairly clean. Uh, the way it, it's constructed like is, is you're supposed to crank it up so you get power amp distortion. Um, but uh, like I said um, before, uh, to be able to get power amp distortion out of amps like this, you have to be really loud, and uh, it, it's not really possible at 99% of the time. So this mod is quite cool. What it, what it is? Um, stock. These, the preamp, the, um, the first channel goes into the first half of the, the first tube, the 12AX7, um, and then goes on to the second tube. The second channel goes into the second half of the first tube. Uh, so they never they never meet, they run in parallel uh, and then meet at the, the second tube. So what that does is uh, you're getting a fairly clean signal out of the preamp and then supposed to get a lot of distortion from the power amp. Um, so what, what this mod is, you're actually hijacking the, the signal from the second channel and running it back through uh, the first channel. So you're actually, instead of running parallel, you're um, running in series. Uh, the f you're using both halves of the, the first 12X AX7. Um, so that makes this amp have a ton of gain, more gain uh, than stock, definitely. Uh, I think even more gain than uh, maybe a JCM 900. It has plenty. Uh, it's not only doubling. You would imagine if you're, if you're running the signal back, it would double the amounts again, but it actually it's uh, it's even more than that. Uh, I I don't know all the technical uh, details about that, but um, I know how to do it, and uh, we're gonna do it today, and we're gonna listen to it, com compare it, and um, yeah, let's let's do it. Let's look inside. Okay, the first thing you want to do when you have the amp out is to measure if you have any voltages left in the filter caps. So how to do that? You set your multimeter to DC, uh, there we go, DC voltages as high as you can. And you measure across here. So like that. And there, okay, nothing left. Okay, that's good. I still wanna treat the amp though as it might have voltages left so you don't get hurt. So don't poke around more than you have to. Okay, next step on doing your one wire mod, you wanna locate your uh, second channel volume, that one, and your uh, first channel inputs. You want to locate the the middle. Uh, there we go. The middle um, lug, the second one, and you want to locate where the two uh, resistors on the input meet, where they join. Okay. We want to run a a cable from there to there. There is also an option to have one meg uh, resistor here in between, but we're not going to do that today. I'm not sure if it affects the signal anything, but I know you can run it without it. So um, that'd be really easy. Oh yeah. And the existing cable, the red one that's on your second lug, you're going to just 
move it over to the third, that will be your ground. So we're just going to ground it. So what we're doing, if we take a look here at the schematic for a 1959 Marshall, um, you're going to be plugging in to your second channel input, and it goes to the first half of the 12AX7, and then on to the volume pot. Okay, so right here, we're going to hijack the signal and run it back to your first input. Okay, here. So you get both sides of the tube. Okay, first in one half, and then loop it back to run in your other half, and then on onwards to the, the second tube where it already where they already meet. So that's um, that's kind of like the theory behind it. And um, yeah, let's uh, start soldering. Okay, first we want to move this middle cable out of the way and solder it to pin three. That's your ground, okay? And you take your wire, actually add some fresh solder. Like that. Right, and that's your one wire mod in under one minute, I think. <laughs> All right, so um, let's see here. We moved the cable that was actually on the second lug, moved it to ground, okay? And then we ran the cable to where the, um, the input resistors join, okay? And that's it. Let's, um, let's play it. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so we're back after doing the mod, and uh, it sounds pretty cool. It, it has a ton of gain um, and feels um, feels like you're driving it with a with an overdrive, but it's all tube, so it's um, yeah, it's very cool. Uh, have a listen. <laughs> So um, let me just uh, play some stuff and um, yeah, let's compare the two, all right? <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank <laughs> you.